Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to turn your favorite Lightroom presets into Snapchat filters. The title says in less than two minutes, but I don't really know that I'm going to be able to do it. So it's probably going to be a little over, but let's get right into it. So you're going to need a few things today, you're going to need Lightroom, obviously, you're going to need Photoshop, you're going to need uh, Lens, Snapchat Lens Studio, you can download it on their website, and another app, I'll have it all linked below. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up Lightroom. So this is um, an orange and teal preset, so this is the look that I want to use. Once we have our preset, this is like the most important thing, you're going to want to open up this, um, like the app that I told you about, I don't know the name of, which will be linked below, you're going to generate a haul, and I have no clue what that is, but you just do it this is part of the process so you want to generate a haul and I put that on my desktop so we're gonna go grab that from my desktop this neutral thing and then you're gonna drag it into your Lightroom you're gonna import it so once that is imported you're gonna to want to go ahead and open that up and then you're gonna to go to develop and then put on your orange and your in my case my orange and teal preset so next thing you're gonna to want to do is you're gonna go ahead and export this so it doesn't really matter I'm just gonna put it on my desktop um, export Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go back to that app, the same thing we made the haul from, and we're gonna go convert to cube. So once we convert to cube, we're gonna uh, click on the, the, the new one we just made is our JPEG. So we're gonna click on that, and then it's gonna convert it to a cube. So once that is done, you've created the cube already, so then you're gonna wanna open up Photoshop. So the next thing you have to do in between these steps is download an app, a, a download a, uh, it's like a, it's called a post effects. And it's on the, I'll have that link below as well. Basically all it is, it's the color profile that Photoshop creates from what you just made in Lightroom. You're gonna open up Photoshop, you're gonna go to open, and then you're gonna go to your downloads. Open the base post effects thing, the thing you just downloaded. And you're gonna go to uh, color lookup, and then you're gonna hit in, uh, over here, you're gonna hit load 3D LUT. Um, once you click on that, you're gonna go to your desktop and you're gonna open the cube that you just made. So then what you wanna do is you wanna quick export this as a PNG. There's nothing special, no special way you have to export this. Quick export as PNG. So once you've exported that, you're gonna go into Lens Studio, you're gonna click new project. It's gonna do all the loading and then you're gonna hit this plus up here. Then you're gonna go all the way down to post effects, color correction. And you're gonna click over here, this lookup text. You're gonna hit the plus up here from files, you're gonna to go to your desktop where you exported your lookup table, hit okay, and then you're good. So that's really just, that's how you simply do it. You can do some other stuff, Some there's other videos you can add like grain and a fade and like all kinds of good stuff over it, you can add some text. But I'm just gonna leave it at that, so hopefully this video helped you guys. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully this helped some of you. It was a little simpler than the other videos. Um, I definitely skipped over like some some stuff like on how to make a preset and stuff, but there's plenty of stuff on there. I probably don't need to tell you guys how to do that, but um, yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe and do all that good stuff, and then we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.